Hello, book lovers. I'm Peg, the book prize addict, and I'm here today back in my old spot uh, to share some uh, prize news with you. First, I have to tell you I have a little problem. You know, I'm very low tech in my video making, and I usually show books that I'm talking about on my old iPad, um, which works somewhat. Um, but it's not charging very well. In fact, it's completely decharged and doesn't seem to want to charge up. So in the meantime, I, I had uh, invested in one of those new Fire tablets that are $49 uh, that everybody's talking about. And I thought, well, maybe that'll work. I don't think it's going to work very good. And here, I'll show you why on my experiment. Okay, today is Tuesday when all the new books are published uh, for the week here in the U.S., Oh no, I've already got a problem. Okay. Anyway, so I, I thought just as an experiment, I'll show you the book that I'm hoping to get from electronically from my library as soon as they put the new books out. The, the physical copy has a lot of uh, holds on it, but it's called The Mars Room. See, this doesn't show pictures very good, does it? Anyway, it's called The Mars Room by Rachel Kushner. See, that's what I mean. Not so good. Anyway, and uh, suppose I've read a lot about it, and some people have gotten advanced copies here on uh, on uh, BookTube, and it's supposedly it deals with a, a woman in prison and her life there, and Rachel Kushner has won several awards for um, other books she's written, so, so I'm really looking forward to it. So I have to keep checking back to when the library puts their new uh, electronic books up that they're... That were published today. Sometimes they don't do it till the next day, and then I just practically give up. Anyway, so so that was the experiment to see if you could see that. Okay, but, but on to the books I'm going to talk about. Uh, a couple of them. First, I want to talk about the uh, <clears throat> Welcome Prize. It's called, um, and the winner of it has recently been announced. Now, this is uh, dealing with either fiction or nonfiction um, literature that um, has to do with health and medicine in some way. And I think some people here on BookTube were reading the whole list. Um, and uh, I'd like to, I probably would like to listen to some of those. But I had picked up, I won't tell you what one yet because this was not the winner. The one I picked up at the library was called With the End in Mind, written by a a lady doctor, Catherine Mannix, and it has to do with um, um, ideas of death and the way in in uh, this contemporary world we, we seem to go to any lengths to, to keep death away when maybe it'd be better to just concentrate on having a good death, you might say, and she gives a lot of examples, and she actually is a doctor of palliative care, which is care of those that, that are going to die, but to make them the most comfortable and the best situation for the family. So I thought it was really interesting. However, it did not win, but the one that won, <laughs> amazing, is out actually uh, somewhat about death, too. It's called To Be a Machine. Oh, that one's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. <laughs> anyway, it's bright yellow. To Be a Machine, it's called. And this also it deals with issues of mortality and it, what, what it might mean to be a machine. And um, it's the first I saw explanation of transhumanism and uh, the use of technology for human evolution. So it seems to have a lot of big ideas there, but um, the um, write-up seems like it was kind of humorous and, and somewhat light you could have something light on that subject. But I do have that uh, checked out from my library, the electronic ver version, which <laughs> that is. Uh, so I would like to try that. Okay, let's go on. Don't worry, I have a lot of actual books to show. You won't have to look at these bad pictures much more. Okay, um, also I want to talk about the Desmond Elliott Prize. And I had... Um, talked given a video on it it's a prize in England uh, named after the late uh, 
critic, Desmond Elliott, and I want to direct you to a wonderful video that Steve Donahue made on it. Um, I, I will put the link down below, as I will all the prizes, and uh, Steve even talks about some dealings we had with this Desmond Elliott fellow, so that was really interesting. Okay, uh, it has narrowed its uh, list, short list, or down to three, and the ones that are left are How to Be Human by Kala K Paula Kokoza, and this um, is an eerie tale and has to do with a woman finding a fox in her yard. And uh, I do I just start it, but I do mean to read that because that sounds very good. Another one on the list that I hope will win is called We That Are Young. Now, I got this copy from England back when it was on the uh, another prize <laughs> list. And um, it's so good. I know it was on a debut author list. Uh, well, this is the debut off their list. Um, it was um, about, takes place in India. It's by an Indian author and about a very well-to-do family there. And it's just great reading. It's kind of thick. I think this is coming out in the U.S. It may be just out or coming out very shortly. So you might be able to get a copy of that. I hope this wins. The other one, the third one I'm not too crazy about, it was called, um, um, ba, 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 what is it? Oh, Eleanor Oliphant, which I've talked about at length. I just was not real crazy about it. Um, anyway, I hope it doesn't win. I didn't even make a picture to show you of that one. Okay, so my phone is ringing, and I'm hoping my answering machine will pick up. Uh, I'm sure it's just a sales call. So, okay. Um, now, we're on to... Another uh, prize, the Arthur Ellis Prize, which is the Canadian, uh, awarded by the Canadian uh, Writers, uh, Crime Writers Association, uh, and they have quite a few different prizes, and they'll be awarded uh, at a big banquet <clears throat> next month in May sometime, I believe, in Toronto, I think. Okay, anyway, I'll put the link down. You can read more about it. But uh, they have quite a few prizes, but I'll just run through their best crime novel uh, list here. Um, and I only have to show, show you two pictures. <laughs> okay, the, uh, the first one, I think, might be one of the best books on it. I was able, it's called The White Angel. And uh, this deals with an uh, actual... Uh, <clears throat> true crime that happened in, in uh, Vancouver in the 1920s where a Scottish nanny was murdered. And I'm not sure if they ever found out who did it, but there were a lot of different ideas and, and plots looked into on it. This one, I really wanted to read it, but it was $20 just on Kindle. So I um, got it on Scribd. I've talked to you about Scribd before that uh, you pay $8 a month and you a lot of the good ones that you want are on there, so I'll be reading that. Okay, another one on that is called The Winner's Circle by Gail Bowen. Oh, that's bad. Ah. Anyway, it, uh, this is, a, is in a series, and it's the 17th book in the series. It's called the Joanne Kilburn series. Probably if you're into Canadian uh, mysteries, you, you've read some of that. And uh, they've, they've won quite a few prizes, and evidently <clears throat> you can easily pick it up anywhere. You don't have to read the whole series, though I know some of you will want to. Okay, and this particular one deals with a law, uh, lawyers and their families who own these cottages around a lake, and it opens up with a scene with them at this lake retreat. And you get to kind of know the different families, et cetera. And, then, and that's as far as I could read on the Kindle sample. But then I think a triple murder happens. And it it's quite uh, mysterious who did it, why did it, and affects all of them. So that sounds kind of good. I don't think they didn't have this one at my library. Un, uh, unusual. Okay, no more of those terrible pictures. Okay, now we're on to actual books. Um this, we're still on the Arthur Ellis Canadian uh, Best Crime List. Uh, this is called The Party by Robin Harding. 
And I read it last night. This is a great one to read if you're tired and just want a quick read. It deals with a, a young a girl's 16th birthday party that goes horribly wrong in the aftermath of that. And I, I, as I said, it's a quick read. It's definitely not literary fiction, but it was kind of fun just for something different and something like. Okay. Um, we have The Forgotten Girl, which I want to get to before it's due back at the library. And um, this is a mystery that deals uh, with a little bit of supernatural in, in the fact that there's a woman who can make people's memories disappear and she has disappeared and nobody can remember her and they're after her. And actually, it sounds kind of interesting. I think I might like that mixture with a little supernatural put into a mystery. And last, we have um, Peter Robinson, who also has a detective series star starring his uh, detective Alan Banks. Um, this is the book 24. I've read several of these through the years. And again, I don't think you have to start at the first. Um, it starts out in a charming country church. And I read several reviews, haven't started yet, that says the opening scene is one you'll never forget. Okay, that's all I have today. I'm hoping to get my old iPad charged back soon to be able to put a little better pictures on. Um, so there's uh, a, a Clark Award, which is a wonderful science fiction award, uh, is going to be announced tomorrow, the long list or the list for it. And I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll be back soon. Bye.